Well, Scott, your uh, custom D5 is all finished. And uh, it's pretty much set up the same way as the last couple uh, dozers that I made. It's set up exactly the way uh, Sammy's machine was built. Uh, everything's labeled on here. We've got uh, high and low range. Is this switch here for the speed of the drive? Uh, your blades on the left stick, and your sound systems on this switch here. I'll go over that in just a second. And your rotary beacon, your light is combined on this switch. Your uh, your drive is on the right here, forward, back, left, and right. Now your sound system, the sound system has four modes to it. So if you go down one and then up, that's mode one and that's start and stop the motor. And then the second mode is the horn. So you go one, two, and then you have access to the horn anytime you want. And then uh, mode three is volume down. So if you go one, two, three, That'll drop the volume all the way down until it's actually gone. And then to turn it back up is mode 4. And I usually like to put it, at least put it in the back in the start and stop mode. Or do it twice for the horn. Because you don't want to be in like raise the volume mode or lower the volume mode and accidentally bump the switch. And uh, it might confuse you if you turn the volume all the way off. You wonder why you can't start it up. If that ever does happen, you just have to just go to, to the fourth mode and uh, you know leave, leave the switch up for a while in case you actually turn the volume down. The... Uh, the light, this, this far right switch is the lights and the beacon. So if you move it four times, you can choose whichever blink you want on the beacon, or you can actually just leave the blink the beacon off and still run the lights. And what else? Yeah, high and low. And high and low, you can the high range is just full travel speed of the of the drive. And then low range, I have that set around 57%, or 59%, I think, on the dual rate. But it's a nice speed for a push -in. If you're in real loose dirt, it's better not to be going this fast. You know, it looks more scale if you're pushing dirt that's loose, or, or especially if you're pushing rubber, ground up rubber that's real easy to push. And you got a metal blade tip. And you have your on and off switch is right here, right to where it would be the right, right by the operator's right leg. And then there's your little green dash light there to let you know that your power is on. And your charging jack for the dozer is right here. And it's a nickel metal hydride battery pack. And you'll charge that at one and a half amps. And the charging jack for the transmitter is right here. And you'll and it's nickel metal hydride batteries in it as well. And you'll charge the transmitter at one and a half amps, just like the dozer. So that's everything on the machine. I will um, I'll get it all boxed up and shipped out first thing Monday morning. And I will get the um, tracking info to Randy. Thanks, Scott.